first of five tonight. A car slams into a group of people at a car auction in East Windsor. The crash injured several. Police tell us it happened after the driver suffered a medical emergency. News 8's Tina Detel has more. This is the blue Buick police say careened out of control behind Southern Auto Auction. It had just been sold when the driver who was moving it suffered a medical condition. We believe it was a heart attack. The car hit several people who were walking in and out of the bays before hitting the building and then a minivan. He was going fast. Clarence Milner works for a Massachusetts car dealership and was here to buy cars. Instead, he witnessed the chaos. And I heard a big boom. He hit the first down there around lane 12. Then the car shot out and then it hit a, uh, Hit a guy over there, pushed him in the air, and he landed right by 14. The car came to rest away from the building. Security removed the injured driver from the car. The officers on the scene started CPR. The ambulance uh, paramedics took over. They got him down to the hospital and they brought him back to life. The drivers of the Buick and minivan, along with four pedestrians, were transported to area hospitals. Head injuries, broken bones, head injuries. Police say there are 900 people who work here, and today most of them, along with others brought in for this auction, were here today. We're told that the six people who were injured and brought to the hospital are all employees. Now, the two most serious injuries, the driver who had a heart attack and the other person who had head injuries, are both at Hartford Hospital. The auction was shut down for the day after the crash. You feel sad. For the, 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 the anguish and the pain that the families go through. Police say in 1991, a crash here injured 10 people. The car was waiting to be auctioned when the accelerator reportedly got stuck. In East Windsor, Tina Detell, News 8.